A parent came to City Hall where I work and she says, my 17 year old has breast cancer and she's been in and out of the hospital for the last year. And my heart just broke. I knew that I had to do something in my community to make people aware of breast cancer. It's a and it certainly is. It certainly and today is. is a beautiful day in the city of Compton. It's the fourth annual Walk for a Cure in partnership with Compton Unified School District Vice President Satra Zarita. Uh, last December, my niece Yvette passed away from complications of uh, breast cancer. She was just a wonderful person, but I mean, just like every family, you know, uh, we think that, that cancer takes our best. I'm here to support myself and the others who are breast cancer survivors and who are going through breast cancer. I'm a survivor of five and a half years. Breast cancer is indiscriminate. It touches all women. There are no any boundaries, there are no any age, any color, any weight, height, etc. It's actually rewarding to be able to sponsor an event, host an event, and get the citizens of Compton out to participate at 7 in the morning. The thing that, that causes it the most is late diagnosis. You have to go in, you have to get a mammogram, and you have to know. Don't be afraid, because there's more good news than there is bad. This event, we partner with Coleman for the Cure, so we put Compton on the radar. We want the same services and the same resources as women in other communities. So this is really why we do this event, to bring attention to our community and the people in our community that are suffering so we make sure they get the resources they need to survive. Because my husband knew my body well enough to know that something wasn't right. I went to the doctor and after going through a mammogram, MRI and biopsies. My doctor told me that my husband saved my life. Breast cancer doesn't have to be a death sentence. Early detection saves lives and I'm a walking, living walking testimony that you don't have to die. If you catch it early, there are things that you can do. One, two, three. I guess the biggest thing is, you know, that there are more and more survivors nowadays. And um, I just think it's important that we all support cancer research and uh, support cancer survivors. Oh, I enjoy this, man. I'm glad that they're putting more awareness out here for breast cancer in the inner city. So I support this 100%. I wear these boxing gloves not just for fighting cancer, but I, I wear these boxing gloves as a symbol of fighting to live, fighting for life. And that's why I'm here, to let women know that they need to check their breasts. Men need to be aware, they need to pay attention to detail and check um, their partner's breasts as well. We all can do things to prevent cancer. And I'm